when I was in uh, junior high school, I smoked a lot of pot, and uh, I had a, 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 this dealer I used to buy pot from, and he told me, if you go to your science class and steal one of those triple beam balances, I'll give you an ounce of pot for it. Fucking, yeah. So I stole one, and he gave me an ounce. And he said, if you get any more, I'll take them, because I can sell them to other dealers. Anyway, I stole uh, 14 scales. Story. I stole 14 fucking scales. And uh, smoked all the pot. Didn't sell none of it. Just got so high for the whole year. I was stealing scales and smoking the dope. It was awesome. It might to date be the best part of my life. It was the greatest, most satisfying time of my life. I got really skinny because I never ate. Because I didn't want to go home high, so I just didn't go home for dinner and shit. And I didn't care, I just got a high. Sometimes I'd just steal chocolate, giant special Hershey's chocolate bars and eat them. That was the only thing I was doing. But anyway, uh, so I got caught because uh, I bragged to everybody. And uh, so the junior high school principal brought me to his office and said, I know you stole the scales. And I said, what? And he said, you stole the uh, scales and you're in a lot of trouble. And I just knew in my head, he, uh, he said, look, give us the scales back and forget it. And I'm like, I fucking sold them to drug dealers. <laughs> like, this is, what a dumb thing to ask me to do. Like, he thinks I just have them. <laughs> Fucking scales! I love scales! I'm 14 of them! I can fucking weigh anything! I can weigh 14 things at a time! And, uh, yeah, so I just said, I didn't steal nothing. And he said, I know you did. I'm gonna bring the police in here right now. I'm like, all right, well, I was just outside. There's no cops. <laughs> no. And he was like, it was like a movie, because he was like rolling up his sleeves. Mwah! Like every time he'd try a dumb thing. Well, then you're going to really get it in trouble this time, Ben. Uh, still no. I didn't do it. Mwah! Oh, you <laughs> and, uh... So he just brought me in the, into the uh, uh, office every day for like a week and grilled me. And I just kept saying I didn't do it. And then one of my teachers asked me, what's going on in Mr. Frackman's office? And I told her. And she got really mad at him and rallied all these ex-hippie teachers who I was fucking blowing off and showing no respect to uh, and got them all to protest uh, that he was doing this to me. And they all defended me. And my parents got brought in, and there was one point where we're in the office, my father, I was sitting there, and my dad's sitting, and he says, did you steal them? And I said, no. I just kept saying no. And he said, to, uh, he said, I know when my son is lying to me, and how dare you accuse him? And I watched my father do this, and I was completely wrong. And the whole time I know, I'm just thinking, I can't get the fucking things back. They're pot dealers own them now. And so... And also, I don't want to be in trouble, and I still have more pot at home. I want to smoke it. Uh, and fuck my dad. I don't give a shit about him. Or anybody else, for that matter. Yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, I was supposed to be gone long ago. But anyway, what ended up happening was that, uh, of course, I didn't get caught, <laughs> because there was no proof. And uh, eventually, uh, um, I was let off the hook. And then when I got this show that just got canceled, uh, <laughs> hey, a little karma there. I, uh, there was an article in my hometown newspaper about the show, and I got an email from that teacher that defended me. And she said, good for you, good, good, you know, I'm proud of you, and screw Mr. Frackman. She wrote that. And I, I never felt worse in my life. Because she's hated this guy who did nothing wrong for years. And she's proud of this piece of shit who lied. So I wrote to her and I said, Mr. Frackman was an excellent principal. He did the best he could, and I lied, and I, I lied to all of you, and I told him. And so she, she didn't answer for a month, which really fucking hurt, because I just saw her going, motherfucker, you motherfucker, oh my god. And she finally wrote back and she said, okay. Like it started with okay, which meant she did have to fucking stew for a month. <laughs> oh, sucker. Oh, okay. 
And she said, you shouldn't have stolen them. I'm disappointed you stole them. But the reason we defended you was because you were small and he was big and he was trying to intimidate you. Even if you did do a crime, it was wrong for him to have you there without your parents or a lawyer. And so I'm glad we defended you. And that was, <laughs> that was it. And uh, I'm sorry, the ending is not as funny as the part right before it. Uh, but that's what happened. And I, I always say to myself, I owe those, that school 14 scales. I should go buy them and give it to them. But I ain't going to do it. <laughs> well, I don't fuck everybody. The way I look at it is that they're not me, so I don't give a shit. <laughs> anyway, sorry for the dead spots, but I'm trying new shit, and thanks for your patience.